Dana was absolutely a complete cyber stalker. She found my job, she found my address. I felt unsafe in my home. My terror dream started again. It was just awful. I'm mortified that if I find a new job, that she's gonna find out about it and that she's going to contact them. I have no idea of what she's capable of doing. Well, Kelly claims that she's being stalked by a woman that she has really never met. Uh, Dana was a member of Kelly's secret Facebook group that she formed to help with PTSD and depression. Now, Dana says she's not stalking Kelly. She's standing up to Kelly because Dana believes Kelly gives out bad advice. Take a look. Kelly was very much an attention seeker. She did a lot of video posts. And would thank everyone and say, I know that you need me. Kelly's Facebook group was like a fan club to her. I just really, really want to thank everyone that's back on the page. Kelly needed the group because she needs fans. She needs people to worship her. Kelly would say, here is something that you can use for when you're having a panic attack. Here is the safe color. I would always end with, you know, what is your favorite color? Kelly was the knowledge bank. She was the brain trust of the therapy. I want to kind of help be that light at the, at the end of the tunnel. Kelly would say the safe color over and over again. The red makes me stop, not think about what's happening. I almost started laughing. Oh. Here comes a safe color post. The color coping mechanism is for them to stop feeling and just be present in that safe moment. She used practice the pause. That became part of her jargon. This would be a great moment for you to pause. I love practice the pause. You can get great wisdom from the pause. I love the power of the pause. Did she have several documents where she just cut and paste because they were the same exact things? It angered me that Kelly was playing therapist. It was very dangerous. Kelly has to stop. Well, Dana says she's worried about what Kelly might post about her next, so take a look. You can go out and get another job. You can find new friends, but I only have one name and Kelly drug that name through the mud. There was a girl that was threatening suicide and Kelly wanted to handle it on her own. We'll do you know, whatever we can to, to help talk you off that cliff. I, I can only speak for me, but I will. When I mentioned to, to Kelly, we need to watch out for negligence here, Kelly said, are you just gonna question everything that I have to say? And I was removed from the group. So 30 days later, I read messages of why I was blocked. <laughs> she was an absolute combative hot mess. I contacted an attorney because I was very worried about the damage that it could do to my character. Later, Kelly messaged me nonstop over and over again and trying to call me and saying that I was harassing her when in reality, I was being harassed. I became very frightened of her. My attorney was concerned, so we contacted her employer. Our goal was to show that Kelly was an internet harasser, but her company realized that she was running this Facebook group while she was on sick leave. She lost her job, and I don't think that it's my fault.